Well, hello friends. Uh, today I'm at the Daniel Webster Wildlife Sanctuary and uh, I'm going to do some photography, a little walking, so it's going to be kind of a mixed photography and uh, tour. So come along with me and we'll see what we can find. The sanctuary encompasses about three miles. Very, very beautiful. A lot of walking trails, a lot of uh, wildlife. What have we got? Any water areas? Uh, this is the entrance. You kind of walk around through. A little uh, building that you can see some of the wildlife that's there. Back to have a little observation window here. Today we got some turkeys. Usually there's a lot of birds that are out here. It doesn't seem to be as many right now, but I'm sure that'll change. Another observation area. A little explanation of how this whole area was formed. And this is the exit out to the fields that we're going to start doing a walking tour. So there's a lot of graded pathways here, make it easier to get around. A lot of little side areas that you can walk out to uh, the pond that's out here. A lot of areas where there's birds, there's a lot of bird houses, different designs. So we're gonna kind of walk through this area and uh, see if we can catch anything interesting. A long green path, we're gonna go down. There's some interesting hanging bird houses over here on the pole. Get another one over there. A lot of birds floating around right now. Sorry about the distance on a GoPro here, so it's made for wide angle viewings. Can't zoom really into this very much. And they really kind of want you to stay off the not off the grasses areas. bit of a breeze today. And this way takes us to a little dock out near the water. Let's see what's swimming around here. if I'm not mistaken. Dump another one in. Coming back from the dock. A little short path here. And this takes us out to a little bridge coming across, probably some swamp land. actually leads us to the bird observation area. Let's see if we can go on in. It's not too crowded. Maybe we'll film around there. A few images. Park in here, see if there's anything out. So this is the entrance to the bird observation area. And this lets you get a good view different birds that live around here. Earlier in the morning, it's much better, more activity going on. I'm here, fortunately, about noontime. 
so it is not much going on here now they're all kind of hiding away but this gives you a good observation both sides so should you make your way here be sure to stop into the observation area have a look outside you got a camera with a long zoom lens it's really advantageous here to get some good uh, photographs of birds keep following the path into the woods Imagine that during the wetter weather, uh, this would have some water underneath it. So instead of walking through some mucky areas, you get to come over the top of this, make your way back into the pathway without getting too squished between the toes. And we're coming out to an open area now. Trees haven't quite come into bloom yet. Imagine how nice these are once all the blooming's in. So this is opening up to a large field and we'll walk a bit from here and there's some other areas to photograph. It's a little bit down this way. you find a lot of Birdhouses all through the field. And we're coming up to another pathway. I think we'll go through here. This is called the Secret Trail. So this one is a covered walkway made of pressure treated wood and this winds through quite a bit through the wooded areas and it'll uh, exit out over here in a grass area then I think it picks up again. Still haven't seen any good areas to photograph. But that's okay. Still a nice walk. And I'll have to come back again. Usually last time I did this, I did early morning and it was a lot more to activity. Well, tough get out of bed this morning. So I got here a little later. And we're back out to another open field. No birdhouses in through here. Get some activity from the birds flying through. Wander on through here. We'll pick up near we get near the end. So I'll make it my way to the end of the field walk area. And we're coming up to another wooden walk spot. See where this one takes us. So 
again, another, another winding wood area, walking path. And this takes it out to enough site. Again, still hasn't come, a lot of it hasn't come in bloom yet. It'll make your way down here probably later on in spring. We're in near the end of April right now. Still a little early for all the trees to come in bloom. But definitely we'll get there. Definitely worth the visit. Now the trail splits off. If we go right, we're still on the secret trail and also part of the loop. We're now gonna go right. We've got a dirt path that we're going down. See where this leads to. So I've made my way back and now we're heading over to Fox Hill. I believe it's this way. Let's see where we go. This is gonna empty us back out in the field. But at least it won't take us right back to the starting point that we did. big empty field. I think we'll head right. I know there's a big observation deck toward the end of the park. Let's see if this is the right way to it. If not, you probably never see this portion of it because you realize I took the wrong turn, went the wrong direction. Well, let's see, keep on going here. Well, I think I did pick the right direction. Looking way out in the distance, I see some people walking up to some different spots out there. That looks kind of new to me. I've never seen those before. So we're going to head up that way, see what that is.
we're coming up to the observation spot. A little place where you can see all around the grounds. Daniel Webster Conservation Area. Oh, they added some benches since the last time I was here. That's good. That's just a little bit of walk, not having a spot to sit down. So view all the way back to the parking lot. A little 360 here for you. Telephone poles, holds left, lying all the way down to the neighborhoods out there. All right, what sight? Right, so we're gonna work our way back and see if we can try to do the river walk. It might be beyond my means today. A little tired here, but we'll see what we can do. Heading down the river walkway, come across the observation blind, and that is this way. Take a walk over there, see what that looks like. Nice little spots they designate here so that you can sit with binoculars or cameras, watch the wildlife fly around, maybe some animals, not sure, I haven't come across any animals. But we'll uh, see what this looks like. This seems to be new. I don't recall this ever being here before. They're always working to improve the experience of visitors. They made it from some downed trees. Look. In this area here, a lot of bird life I can see right now. A little viewing for even shorter people, younger babies, children. Not babies, babies are too small. I'm not interested in seeing it. Another in between viewing area. Another high one over here. Get the birds coming around. Area. Yeah. Beautiful day. All right. Walk on back. Continue our walk through to the river. To the river river walk. Oh, this is quite impressive. We have all the fields here. I think I might even set up to do a photograph. Pause this. Uh, let me put it on viewing. Probably be to right out here to see. There we go. What you can see of that. This is my view that I am seeing. Real pretty.
So I am uh, photographing this with a Tamron 18 to 400 millimeter lens. Wonderful little lens, very lightweight. I think it's a pound and a half. And uh, the only thing I'm going to add to this shot is a polarizer. I'm going to drop it on. I'm using the case filter system. So this lens has magnetic filters. And I can rotate this and see where my skies are dark. And that's what I'm using it for. So it's like that will be the dark area. And that's my position. I focused, manual focused on this. And we're at 100. 100 ISO, F8, a hundredth of a second. I think I'm gonna bump the sh F stop up a little higher. See if we can do that. Well, on the video, we're gonna do this, but we're gonna take this and we're gonna stop filming. And we'll take a picture. So I'm back. My actual exposure for this still image is 100. ISO F11 at a hundredth of a second with a polarizer, which you lose about two. St Very simple shot. You wouldn't need, need the tripod for the brightness that's out here today, but it's a pretty area. And let's move on. Hello, friends. So here I am in the area that I just photographed. Beautiful, beautiful spot. And this is some of the gear I'm walking around with right now, so you can see it. We've got the carry side pack, not really a backpack person, so I carry all my gear as much as possible. If you look at this little clip here, this is oftentimes I'll hang just my camera from that, or I even hang the uh, GoPro when I'm not filming. Just wanted to do a little quick view of that. This is where we are ahead of us. And we're going to keep on walking, so follow along. So we're still on the pathway. Look at all these fields here. I don't know if they're wheat or what they are, but it's pretty. Some trees here, barely ready to bud, buddy now, ready to bloom. Those are kind of scattered out through the field here. We're into another possible bridge. We might go across the river again. And I think we'll get to the end of the bridge. And then I'm going to turn around. Oh, we're coming out some more fields over here. We might be at the end of this walkway. Pretty area. Nope. I'm gonna pan around here and on this side. Exiting back out to the fields. So 
So we're back at the opposite entrance to the river walk. And we're going to be heading back to the parking area, which is opposite this way. Well, we're coming up to a quite a little collection of geese. I think they're all gonna take off on me. A little windy blowing through right now. Gotta step around the geese droppings, goose droppings. There's plentiful around the walking path. So used to people, they don't even care that I'm walking by them. Some of you want to get out of the way, but most of them just kind of hang around. folks I am at the end of my walk just want to thank you for coming along and be sure to subscribe like this video and ring the bell if you're so inclined to again thank you for coming along and I hope to see you on the next trip have a good day bye